Hi, this is Jeff, one of the owners at Planning Pod, and now we're going to learn how to create a seating arrangement chart by adding guests to seats in a floor plan. So first of all, we're going to click on the events tab, and then we're going to click on the event to which we want to add guests to um, a floor plan. And be before we go to the floor plans tool here, um, let's take a look at the guest list for this event and um, just want to show you where the event guest lists are located inside the guest list area. This is the master guest list, but to view all of your event guest list, you'd click on the drop down menu and then click on manage event guest list. And for this particular event, I've already created three event guest lists to choose from, and we can choose from these lists in the floor plan. So now we're going to click on the floor plans tool and here is the floor plan that we want to start adding guests to seats. Ah, now see at the top here, um, there is no guest tab, which means we have not attached a guest list to this particular floor plan yet. So we're going to go back and click on the floor plans tab and go back to the floor plan summary area. And as you can see, there is no guest list attached to this floor plan. So we're going to click on the edit button. And in this drop down menu is where we can attach an event guest list to the floor plan. So we're going to attach the uh, mixer attendees guest list to this floor plan. And I'll click save. And now you can see that guest list has been attached here in the floor plan summary. So let's relaunch this floor plan. And at the top, now we will see a guest tab, which we will click on and it will show all the guests in this guest list. And they're color coded green who's attending, um, a, a maize yellow color uh, who people who have not responded or RSVP'd yet. The red are people who RSVP'd that they are not attending. And the white just denotes that it is an empty chair. So now let's place our first guest at a chair. We'll click and hold on this guest right here and drag him to an open chair. Once the chair turns yellow, that means that we are on that chair and we'll release the click. And now that guest has been placed on that chair. And we're going to do this for a few guests here. So make sure you are over to just to make sure you are over the chair, it will turn yellow. And then you just release. And the color coding for each guest also follows them to the chair. So for this particular guest who is marked red for not attending, that will still show up on that chair. And you may have already noticed this, but when you drag and drop a guest onto the chair, in the guest list, it whites out their name so that you cannot place that guest at another seat. And we're going to add one more uh, guest to a chair here. And after we do that, I'm going to zoom in on the guests that we have just placed in the chairs because if you start zooming in more, you'll see that the names of the guests will be revealed on the chairs. So that way, if you wanna see who's sitting where, you can just zoom in and uh, identify which guests are at which seats. Removing a guest is pretty easy. You simply click and hold on a chair that a guest is occupying and then just drop it onto the canvas and that guest will be removed. And as you can see here, that guest is now available to be placed at another chair. And I'll do this for a few more guests. I will click and hold and just drop it to a blank area in the uh, canvas. And here you can see that guest is now available to be placed somewhere else. So we'll put them here. And now we're going to start placing a few other guests at chairs. And one thing we do recommend is that you not start your seating chart until uh, most of your guests, if not all, have RSVP'd. And you can also add a plus one guest to chairs also, like we're doing right here. Moving a guest from one chair to another is as simple as clicking on that chair and holding and dragging that guest to a new chair and dropping them there. So we're just going to move some guests to a few chairs here. Click, hold, and drop. And that's how you can create a seating arrangement with one of your event guest lists inside of a floor plan. Thanks for watching this video. 
and make sure you watch some of our other videos on the floor plan tool about how to place and arrange tables, chairs, and other floor plan elements.